are you doing? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, karibu sana. Here we love having visitors. And I would love guys having you on this channel. So do consider subscribing down below and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss any upload that I upload on this channel. So guys, for my returning sub subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content and for always sharing my content. You know guys, I love you and I appreciate you so much. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my daily cleaning routine and I hope that you are going to enjoy this um, video. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up, you know, leave a comment down below, share out if you can. So these are the things that I normally clean on a daily basis and I wanted to share it with you guys so that you can also incorporate it into your daily cleaning routine and this doesn't, you know, have a specific time. Like for me, I always set aside 30 minutes on a daily basis to clean my house. This can be in the morning, in the afternoon or in the evening, but mostly I do it in the morning so that, you know, the rest of the day my home is clean and I can focus on my work. So guys, do consider also doing this in your homes to keep your spaces clean, keep your spaces more organized, guys. And so let's just get right into the video. Forgive my voice, I have been having a flu for days. It's not going away and you know there's nothing i can do about it so let's just you know manage it and get right into the video i hope that you guys will enjoy this video give it a thumbs up kindly it helps this channel a lot just that you know clicking on that like button or leaving a comment in the comment section down below it really helps this channel a lot so do not go away without you know giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment whatever feedback you give me i would really appreciate it so guys let's just get right into the video so guys i'm going to be starting with the bedrooms this is because if you have followed me here guys for some time you know that I usually clean my living room and my kitchen uh, at night. So in the mornings, I like to focus on the bedrooms and the bathrooms. And today being a day where I have to change my beddings, I'm going to be quickly doing that. I'll change the beddings, go to the next bedroom, tidy it up, and then I will also be vacuuming the floors later on. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. So guys, for my daily cleaning routine, as you'll notice in this video, the only floor that I'll be mopping is for the is my kitchen floor. Because, uh, you know, for the kitchen, you'll always find some crumbs on the floor. There is some dust somewhere. So I prefer mopping the kitchen floor on a daily basis. But for the rest of the house, guys, I'll just be vacuuming and then I'll be done. Uh, this is because, guys, I do not uh, find the need of me mopping the floors and vacuuming the floors on a daily basis. Because really, they are not that dirty. Sometimes they just need you to dust everything off and then they will be clean as new. So in this room guys I'm just going to be tidying up the bed because no one is using it I'm just straightening up the beddings and then I'll be done I will only later on vacuum the floors So guys this is how my living room is looking currently as you can see there's nothing much I'm going to be doing here I'm just going to be straightening up the couch and the pillows and then I'll vacuum the carpet and then I'll be done because this is because guys I do my cleaning for the living room 
at night i have shared that with you guys i i always clean my living room at night before i go to sleep so in the morning there's nothing much i'll be doing just tidying up things wiping the coffee table you know because they used uh, we used it in the morning to have breakfast so i'm just going to be tidying up and then vacuum the carpet and then i'll be done So guys for my toilets and for my bathrooms this is something i have to clean on a daily basis i cannot insist this enough guys this uh for the toilets i usually clean them on a daily basis just to be sure that you know there are no germs in the bathroom you know you don't you do not want your bathrooms and toilets dirty so i usually take that five minutes three minutes in a day just to make sure that the toilets are clean and i usually use uh, this bathroom cleaner blue touch and vim for washing the toilet bowl So guess as you notice in this video I do not deep clean my house on a daily basis. Nowadays I clean I mop my house thrice in a week. The rest of the days I'm just vacuuming, wiping things down, you know, to make sure that the house is still clean even if I'm not deep cleaning. something else that i usually do on a daily basis you just uh, cleaning my mirrors and then i also clean uh, the sinks on a daily basis i do not miss this guys you know this makes uh, my work easier on a deep cleaning day because i will not be you know cleaning a lot of stuff because there will be no like dust uh, that has accumulated around the house I've been played. No, I don't want no rest So guys, now that I'm done uh, cleaning the other rooms, I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen and in this kitchen, guys, this is uh, usually how it looks like in the morning. There's nothing much to do because I cleaned it la last night. So what I'm going to be doing is just keeping away the dishes that I did last night because I did not put them away and then, you know, clean the breakfast dishes. And guys, as you will notice, the breakfast dishes are literally two plates and one cup. This is what my hubby used in the morning before he went to work. So this is what I'm going to be cleaning. And then, you know, mop the floors. So guys, as I had mentioned earlier, I usually mop the kitchen floors on a daily basis. This because, you know, for the kitchen floors, you'll always find maybe a breadcrumb here, food particles here and there. So, you know, sometimes it's just a little bit dusty. So I usually take a spray, spray on the kitchen floors. This is a cleaner that uh, I do. I make it at home. And it's just uh, basically a mixture of water, bleach and some liquid soap that I just spray on the kitchen floors and then wipe it off. Uh, anytime I realize that uh, I, I realize or anytime that I notice that the kitchen floors are a bit dusty, that's what I usually do. Spray some, you know, liquid on it and then just mop it. Every time we say goodbye They all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try yeah, you've so guys when it comes to my kitchen sinks i usually you know clean them with this scoring powder and i usually do this on a daily basis anytime that i'm doing the dishes on a daily basis guys i'd like to go in with this scoring powder just clean them thoroughly make sure that the sinks are clean and also my cooker it's something else that i usually do on a daily basis anytime that i cook i make sure that 
I wipe down the cooker so that you know there are no food particles here and there and also just to maintain order in the kitchen you know the kitchen is the heart of the home as they say so you want your kitchen to be clean all the time so that's what I usually do on a daily basis you know clean the sinks the floors the cooker and wipe down you know the microwave you in the morning i'm leave with a gift in the one i'm leave with a gift in a gift in a but every time we say goodbye we all know that it's a lie now i'm all alone cuz you never show you say you will but then you don't So guys, the last thing I usually do on a daily basis is just to vacuum the carpet, vacuum the floors, go to the bedrooms, vacuum the floors, and then I'll be done. And usually guys, this, you know, the whole daily cleaning routine, it only takes me 20 to 30 minutes uh, on a daily basis, and then I'll be done. This is because guys, I do my cleaning in the evening for the living room and for the kitchen. So this gives me an easy time on a daily basis to clean the rest of the house. So you can also guys incorporate this in your, you know, daily cleaning routines. No, it will give you an easier time if you have uh, done your cleaning at night. But if you choose the latter, guys, whatever works for you, you know, you do it. But this is what works for me. They all see that it's a lie. Because we always give it one last try. Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times. Now I'm all alone. So guys, just like that, I'm done with my daily cleaning routine, guys. As you can see, these daily cleaning routines, guys, or these are routines that you do on a daily basis. They really come in handy when you are doing your deep cleaning, uh, you know, in your house. So that you do not, you know, have a lot of uh, stuff to be to clean, you know, because these are little things that you do on a daily basis. Eventually, just, you know, come in handy when you are doing your deep cleaning. So guys, to finish everything off, I'm going to burn these incense. These are incense sticks. I'm going to burn this scent. I don't know. It's called Odd or Odd. I don't know. I have already tried this one, guys, and the green apple, guys. It's my favorite scent right now. So I just want to try this other one and see because this, is, this was what was recommended to me by a friend of mine. 
she said it's really nice so so far i have tried the green apple i love i love i love it so today i want to try this one and i hope that i'm going to like it as well i'm just going to finish everything off by lighting one of these incense sticks this odd one you know to make the house smell nice and smell fresh you know after cleaning you usually i light either i have like four cents or five cents of these incense sticks and then i also have some scented candles but today i'm not burning a scented candle i want to burn these usually i burn them like on an everyday basis guys yeah that's how much i like these things they make my house smell so fresh so and so nice and then the scent they leave behind lingers around for a long period of time like the whole day so guys this is how it lights up this flame will go off and then what will be left behind it will be burning you know bringing out some smoke and that smoke is what now uh, leaves that scent behind and so far so good guys I can already smell this scent it smells like earth wood it's like our an earth scent I don't know how to explain it it's like a mixture of earth and some wood that's the vibe it's giving me yeah a mixture of earth like an earthy scent or a woody scent i don't know guys if you get it but that's how that's the scent that it's emitting from this incense stick so guys that's it well guys that's it for me today i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did guys do give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to leave a comment down below and i would really appreciate so until next time guys love and light bye